we were playing in the dining room for this, you know, the hotel, really, all the, the hotel guests were watching the show. It was a really nice show. Auntie Carol was dancing hula, beautiful hula. Beautiful and, long. And so we're, we're, we're in the middle of our song, this huge centipede, this oh, long, no. starts going right across the dance floor towards <laughs> Auntie Carol. And Boise, the, who was playing bass, he just ran right out and just smashed the thing. And the, you know, and the, and the tourists were just like, Freaking out. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't even know centipedes you know, were in Hawaii. So it was, it was um, pretty amazing. It's all part of the show. They have a bunch in the back they keep for each other. Lil Kane. Yes, sir. Aloha, how are you? Aloha, Kako. Hello, everybody out there. many, many years ago, as he said, in Hana, playing at the Paniolo Lounge. Um, and that was, oh my gosh, such great times. Um, so many good times. So many good times. And then, um, also in Hana, I met Ken. And the last time the three of us were actually together was in Hana. So this is our reunion in Santa Barbara. Yay! What better place than Santa Barbara? The beautiful Santa Barbara. Beautiful Santa As I say, Malka to Makai. The same as in Hana. That's right. Um, that's how this island boy. I'm the only one, by the way, we get barefooted up here. These guys are so mainland. Yes. <laughs> oh <my> <laughs> try looking our album cover, bro. Yeah, no, I know. We get we get beer bottles and bro. bare feet. I know. <laughs> so Neil, so, Connie, and I did, uh, uh, recently did a, a, a CD together, and um, since we were close by, and we were, hey, let's, let's do a record. So we did a record, and we got, uh, just recently found out we got three Nahoku Hano Hano uh, oh. nominations. Woo! So we are super excited about that. And, uh, we're talking about Hano. Um, something the three of us all have in, in common is a love for that beautiful place they call the last Hawaii. Um, it's really where the romance and um, the beauty is still alive and well, and the Hawaiian culture uh, thrives from the nature of the beautiful islands. Um, and our album is really all about that. Each song um, really celebrates Native Hawaii, that is expressed through the Hawaiian music. So this is a fun song, to, to a medley of songs, um, one by John P. Ilani Watkins, a famous composer from Hana who Ken actually knows, they're new. Um, wow, he was a huge, huge uh, songwriter. Um, and the other by Johnny Noble. Um, two classic, you know, old Hawaii songs. Singing me a song of old 
from the, all the kupuna, the aunties, they're like, hey, where's the CD? I don't know, just download, file, blah, 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 and we're like, oh my gosh, auntie, I'm so sorry, I don't know how to download a file either. <laughs> so we made a CD, it's back there. This is a song I did write um, called Kaimana. Um, Kaimana um, translates to the word diamond, so diamond head is Kaimanahila. Um, it's also the name of a beautiful beach in Waikiki um, where I would go as a child with my family and uh, on Sundays we would go there and my mom would float in the water and say this is my cathedral and, and anyway the, back then um, the water was still so fresh and clean that we would gather limu, the seaweed and take it home and wash it and put you know, show you inside and have a pupu. I mean, that's how clean it was. So the song references the smell of this uh, beautiful lipoa, the, the, the seaweed fragrance. It's like a perfume. It also talks or references the manu oku, which are the native Hawaiian uh, fairy terms, and they mate for life. They're beautiful white birds with long tails. So that's what the song is about, my family in this beautiful place. Oh, 